present levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere are unsustainable. In the last 200 years, we've multiplied carbon dioxide to a point where we are now getting global warming, climate change, it's happening, and it's going to accelerate unless we do something about it. When I was younger, sustainable farming was never heard of, never looked at, but it's something in the last seven or eight years, and I felt I need to do my bit. Here on my farm in Cumbria, I've looked at it in a big way. We're going to have to do something. Over the years, we've done so much, but this year, we're doing a lot more we're going to plant. 15,000 trees. I've done lots of peat restoration, all to lock up carbon so I can feel that we're doing our best for our carbon audits and try to make it our beef does not cost us a lot in carbon into the atmosphere. So in terms of carbon neutrality for farm, I think it's about how we use the machinery on the farm, how we manage our animals, and really critically how we manage our soils. And they all work together, those things, to store or use carbon. So here on Tim Winder's farm, I mean, Tim's doing some fantastic things. He's changing some of his systems to bring in these new ideas about carbon storage, about biodiversity and producing food. And where better to start with carbon storage than restoring your peat? Peat, if we, if we could just report, re restore peat, that would be a fantastic start point for this country. My relationship with Lake District farmers has gone on for a considerable amount of years. I've had a very good working relationship. We sit down and talk and look at ways we can not only keep the beef quality to its very high standard and improve, and how we can look at the carbon side, how we can look at keeping our carbon down as low as we possibly can, working together in a big way, rather than just each of us working separately. I'm Tim Winder, and this is why.